Hey everybody, Greg here again. Uh, I'm looking at this grapevine. I need to clean it up again. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on cleaning up some of these tendrils and basically working on the cordon, which is coming across this wire right here and separating out so that I can get some spurs about six inches apart or so. But it's going like gangbusters, which grapes tend to do. So, it's time to clean up some of these tendrils, as well as take out some of the grapes that are coming. It's going to hurt, but because it's only coming from one vine at the moment, right here. This was planted two years ago, and you can see it in the back there. And what I did is I trained it up to this wire that I put in, and again, uh, there's a video on that. I will link that down below. I set up these cordons coming across on the wire and the plan is to set up spurs on the cordon about five to six inches apart and produce grapes. Now last year I took some of these tendrils that I had cut off and produced some more plants that are coming up in another area. I'll show a picture of those and also from earlier this year the last time I did trim I took some of the tendrils and I've got them growing in a pot to root up and I'm going to be placing them in the ground. The basic idea here is each spur that I'm trying to set up can really only support one set of grapes. So, especially with just the, the one plant. So plants like this or tendrils like this just aren't going to work. I have to take care of that. So I will be trimming these off as well as taking away some of these bunches of grapes. So that is today's job. And these tendrils, I am going to place in the pots with some soil and let them root up because they do root very easily. And place them in the pots, let them grow, and then I will transplant them into the ground. The idea here is uh, with this wire that I have across, I wanna keep this cordon going uh, one of these tendrils, possibly this guy right here, is actually going to continue along this wire over to my gate. The other plants, the other tendrils that I plant will be put down further along this wire. And you can see I have it coming right across and actually heads right down there to that bush at the end and I'm going to plant those so that we will have grapes all the way along this fence. All right so I'm going to turn you off for a second. I will grab my clippers and we'll be back. Okay so here I'm just looking at the tendrils deciding which ones I think I should remove, which one I think I want to continue on as the new cordon for the coming year. And that one below, that long one, is probably the best one for the cordon. So that's what I'm going to go with. So I am trimming off some of the other tendrils. You'll see that I've left some of the leaves. Uh, you want to keep the leaves available for photosynthesis, obviously. And trimming the odd group of grapes. You'll notice that in a minute as well. This is one of the little bunches of grapes that I've taken off. There's a couple on this one, so you need to take one off, allow the other grapes to get a size, grow nice, big and juicy. Here I'm just taking that tendril running along the line so that it becomes the new extension of the cordon. As you see me working down the line, you'll see I'm just removing the tendrils and extra bunches of grapes. We only really want one bunch of grapes per spur. That will put less pressure on the plant and we will hopefully Get lots of nice big juicy grapes out of this.
All right, so here she is cleaned up. You can see that I did take one of the tendrils, ran along here, and removed any grapes that might have been on it, working on the growth up to the end of the fence. And the tendrils that I trimmed, I left a grape bunch, maybe two on the odd one, but for the most part, just the one. Again, you want the energy going to the grapes. You don't want it going to the tendrils. So that's the reason for doing this trimming. And as the years go along, with my other grapes getting into the ground as well, we will have a good crop of grapes. But this being only the third year, don't want to overdo it. And just want to get a few grapes, keep the plants coming healthily, and keep those cordons going. And as I mentioned, some of these tendrils that I pulled will be planted and they're going to work further down and work their way back and forth along the same line as well as here is the one that I planted last year and you can see it's just coming along nicely. So this one will be possibly available next year for some more grapes. The idea is this was a cordon that I, or sorry, not a cordon, but a tendril I cut off last year. And the idea is it's gonna grow up here and we're using it to fill in this space in our deck beside the kitchen, give us some uh, shade from the sunlight as well as from a neighbor. It's gonna be trimmed a little bit differently. It's, uh, which is why I've allowed more tendrils to stay on this one. And it's hopefully gonna fill up this space up here for us. All right, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon. Bye now.